Ladies and gentlemen, with the visit truly Asia Malaysia 2020, the target is to achieve 30 million tourist arrivals to our country. And we have seen a lot of initiatives taken by the government from the ministry level, Tourism Malaysia and other agencies and also participation from private entities such as ERL. Thank you all for taking the time to join us today for the launch of ERL's new initiative in support of the campaign. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe with global trends pointing towards experiential tourism as a preferred way to travel, tourists today want to experience a destination through the rich cultural heritage and creative expressions of the local community. In fact, a study of tourism, a study by Tourism Malaysia shows that Activities related to the arts and culture, such as heritage walking tours, traditional dance and batik drawing workshops, amongst others, are sought after experience with a local touch that are now accessible through various digital platforms and mobile applications. I am certain that the recent launch of Tourism Malaysia KL Heritage Food Trails package, among other exciting new initiatives, will continue to bring more tourists, more visitors to places such as Kampung Baru, Italian State and Brickfields in pursuit of authentic local experience. I'm sure some of you do not know that in Brickfield itself, there are many religious houses of worship which can be on board to support this national mission. I would also like to urge more industry players and operators in the travel and tourism ecosystem to come forth and join us. The Ministry of Tourism, Arts and Culture Malaysia, or TAC, and our agencies, Tourism Malaysia, look forward to supporting your initiative and together we can ensure a successful BM2020 campaign. With that, I hereby launch the Visit Malaysia 2020 happenings at KR Central with the inaugural cultural performance. Thank you. Happy Chinese New Year. Xin Yin Kuai Le. Hong Si Fa Chai. Thank you. Just transit in Kelai. So sometimes they transit more than eight hours, ten hours, so maybe more than one or two days. So they can take advantage of two hundred rupee, so that we can uh, offer them some packages, you know, uh, surrounding KL or Selangor. So, so, so are you planning to extend this to other countries in the region? Uh, so this actually uh, this uh, circular comes from KDM. So. Uh, as a food ministry of tourism, we welcome this kind of uh, initiative taken by the Italian. So this this is a way forward. This is something good for uh, all these transit passengers. Monitoring yeah. closely. I think uh, any outbreak uh, that happens, uh, especially the influenza A outbreak, um, for the moment we are monitoring that number closely. We, we, we don't know whether there's going to be any uh, negative impact to our tourism. Uh, 
So far, our forward, forward bookings for the airline, in fact, airline reported uh, a growth uh, from November to December. Uh, so I'm not sure whether, you know, January there's any impact on the price I So we monitor those. Calendar of events, if you go to our microsite, uh, 198 events for this year. Uh, we have a concert uh, on last Saturday where we, we show all those, uh, you know, yeah, we have to show all the preview of the, what events are coming to, to, uh, to Malaysia. I think uh, all the agencies under us, uh, the, one of the biggest events will be our KL Binali, Cool Binali, called Cool Binali, where uh, now you can see that uh, all the airports uh, that operates by NHP are collaborating with our National Art Gallery uh, in all the airports. And Cool uh, Binali will be somewhere in, uh, uh, somewhere in October this year. So that will be uh, one of the major events, and uh, of course, uh, uh, JKKN uh, has one of the signature events called the Indigenous and Aborigines uh, Festival, uh, which is will be 5th to 12th August, 5th to 9th August. Uh, International Aborigines and Indigenous Art Festival. This is one of the signature events. Of course, we have 198 events. Um, uh, Palestine will have Istana Buraya will have the event and uh, Buddhism Malaysia, of course, we have Chitra one afternoon and uh, huh? Ash, huh? National Museum. Uh, I think you have to, I cannot name all those uh, events, but I think these all the events are uh, uh, focused mainly on the cultural, uh, as I mentioned, cultural, cultural tourism. So all the main events are mainly. Uh, Based on all this uh, cultural, cultural performance. We are trying to support since last year, in fact, uh, the M 2020 So that's why we collaborate with uh, Tourism Malaysia. And uh, we have a lot of offerings and a lot of product actually, which is targeted for the tourists. For example, our KL Travel Pass, the one which mentioned by by YV, uh, whereby passenger can take the train and two days unlimited travel on the on the monorail uh, LRT and MRT um, for two days unlimited. Eh? And we also have discovered KL, which we launched last year with um, tourism as well. And uh, this discovered KL is a collaboration between the uh, uh, traveling on KL Express and also. Um, hop on, hop on. So those are products that targeted very much for tourists actually. And, and I think as you know, KIA, um, DRL is connected to KIA, so uh, passengers will, by commuting passengers taking the train, they are coming to the international airport and they will have a very small strike on KLA Express. So it's actually very important for the passengers, especially international passengers, to feel the, the kind of experience, you know, uh, coming to KL. Uh, 